listen, listen carefully, people. Listen very carefully. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, we don't care about feelings, emotions, or opinions. We're going to read this Bible, and we're going to teach God's people, thus saith the Lord. Give me Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4, I think is what I want. Let me understand. Let me have you understand plainly, brothers and sisters. You can come back. You can come back, and anybody who want to have sidebar conversations, here's your time to understand what we are talking about and what we are here to do and why we are here for. Read. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 9 and verse 4. And the Lord said unto And the Lord said, that's what we care about. And the Lord said, and the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city. It says, go. God commanded that his prophets go through the midst of the city. Read. Through the midst of Jerusalem, through the midst of Jerusalem, the, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, Jerusalem is the people of God. He said, go through his people and set a mark upon the foreheads of men that cry and sigh for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. So he said, go and teach those who care about all the abominations that's, that's right. done to his people. Everybody don't care about all the things that has happened to God's people. Everybody do not care that you are slaves today. Everybody don't care that your daughters are becoming baby mamas today. Everybody don't care that your sons are being murdered daily. Selling drugs to each other daily. Right. Killing each other daily. Right. Everybody don't care about that. We come to teach God's people who care about all the abominations that his people are doing and that is happening to his people. That's all we come to do. We don't care if you stop and listen at all. We were not sent to make you feel good. We were sent to mark your heads, meaning teach you the Bible, teach you thus saith the Lord. Give me, uh, go to chapter three. Matter of fact, go to chapter one, verse 17. And read that. God don't care if you listen. God don't care. That's right. We come to warn you and that's it. Our job is done when we have warned you, when we have told you Christ is coming, not to hug you, not to kiss you, to kill you if you are not keeping his commandments. Right. And we can prove it out of his word that you have not learned or been taught. That's what we're here for. See the crowd scatter? See all the crowd scatter now? Where well, everybody's screaming now? The book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, and verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Come on. Therefore, I hear the word at my mouth Come on. and give them warning from me. God said, give him, give you all warning from him. Not hugs, not a feel-good sermon. That's right. Not a shucking job, a cooning song. Not choir out here. God said, give them warning from right. me. Warning, warning. So when we teach you his commandments, that a woman shall not put on that which pertained to a man, it's a warning to you. You're going to do it or he's going to kill you. Right. Get Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 8. Bring it out. For anybody who think God is playing about his message, he's playing about that little old commandment. That little commandment that surely he ain't going to kill nobody for. Surely he loved the women so much. You can wear whatever you want to wear. Bring it out. Then another sister completely naked wants to ask where does the bible say that she shouldn't dress like this i got your verse sister i got your verse come on read the, the book of zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 8 read. and it shall come to pass in the day of the lord's sacrifice come on. that i will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel god said he's going to punish he's going to kill everybody who ain't dressed as he said they should dress now give me titus too how should the woman dress where in the bible does it say the sister should not wear be out here naked why does it say that let's find out let's read about it let's read about it i think it's verse nine is that what i want come on the book of second timothy chapter two and verse nine in like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel the bible says that women should adorn themselves how in modest apparel this is the holy bible we reading how, how everybody got the holy ghost but don't nobody know this scripture right. that's why we're in the bible how everybody got the holy ghost out here dressed naked right. How? What world? Are we? Is this the twilight zone? Right. Is this the twilight zone we in? What's happening? I'm confused. Where are the Holy 
Ghost prophetess is at now? Where you at now? We study this book. That's right. right. We know it in and out. Right. We didn't wake up this morning to do this. Right. We've been doing this all over the world yeah, for right. many years. Right. Right. Don't play. We know this here. And we'll set you straight. If you want to learn, come and learn. If you don't understand, come and learn. If you're confused, come and learn. If you want to battle, come battle. Right. Right. Come battle. Bring your strong reason, Holy Ghost prophets, right. Holy Ghost prophetesses. Yeah, right. Right. Super strong, mighty Christians, bring forth your strong reason. We bought the war. Let's go. Read it again. In like manner also, that women are doing themselves in modest apparel with shame faced. They say with shame faced. Not all up in no man's face with your long fingernails and snapping and popping. They say with what? With shame facedness. This is the Holy Ghost prophetess right here. This the Holy Ghost sisters right here with shame facing this. Come on. And sobriety. And what? Sobriety. Not high on pills. Not high on Xanax. Not high on Molly and X. Not high on weed. Not drunk out here. Holy Ghost prophetesses. Holy Ghost Christians. No. The Bible says how the Holy Ghost sisters get down. The, the Bible saying, guess what? I don't see one out here. I see a few out here. I see my sister over here in the dress. I see my sister over here listening and learning. But all this nonsense, all this noise, all this playing confusion, cut it out. Stop it. Stop it. Don't come before the prophets like that. Don't come before the prophets like that. Anybody got questions? Come ask your questions. Give me, give me Amos 9 and 10. Give me Amos 9 and 10. Don't come play, don't play no games with us. We bought this Bible. We, this is not for show. And you can keep your money when we leave, too. Right. Right. We ain't passing no tithing plate when we leave. That's you right. can keep your money. Come on. The book of Amos chapter 9 and verse 10. Again, I tell you, we come out here to warn you, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We come to warn you. God ain't playing with you. We ain't playing with you. We come to warn you, keep his commandments or you shall die a miserable death. Come on. All the sinners of my people. They say all the sinners of his people. All the sinners of God's people. Come on. Shall die. Shall what? Shall die. Shall what? Shall die. Come on. By the sword. Which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. You know what people you know which of God's people are saying that ain't no evil going to take over them? You know you know which of God's people saying that ain't no evil going to prevent them? Super Christians. All you Holy Ghost filled Christians out here. Hey. You're the ones that think that this evil ain't going to touch you. You're the one that think the evil that the Lord is bringing here ain't going to touch you. He said if you're in sin, he's killing you. Right. Did we not just read this out of the, the Holy Ghost Bible? Did we not? Do we not just read this out the same Bible your pastor got you thinking you filled with the Holy Ghost from? Do we not read it again? For all the sinners, you know what y'all doing? Y'all blacking out all these scriptures and only reading the feel good ones. Y'all only reading about the glory and the promises. But guess what? Those pertain to all those and they that would keep his commandments. Those are not for you if you're not keeping his commandments. Death and destruction is for you. As the officer was just going into before I came up here, Noah was doing the same thing you see us doing. Right. What happened to all those people? That's right. That's now history. Teach. That's now history. Did God not did God not break? God said he was going to kill everybody. That's what God said he was going to do. That is now history. That has been, that is done. That's, that is facts now. Come on. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword which say, the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and shall close up the breaches thereof. And I will raise up his ruins and I will build up, build it as in the days of old. Come on, now give me first and second Peter chapter three. All y'all gonna hear about is the destruction. All y'all gonna hear about is the destruction. That's all y'all gonna hear about. Y'all don't care. Y'all don't care. Listen, if y'all don't care, God don't care. Matter of fact, go to first, go to Proverbs 126. Go to Proverbs 126. 
Go to Proverbs 126. Y'all got to understand this plainly. God requires you to change. God does not accept you as you are. He has laws, he has statutes, and he has judgments. If you don't know his laws, statutes, and judgments, it's fine, sister. It's completely fine. But you have to learn and you must be taught to do so. You must be taught. Or when the, when the Lord come back, yes, you're going to be judged. You gonna we used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.